Hi there folks. Recently a friend of mine put up a video on one of these uh, brew in a bottle kits and you can go check out his video. I'll post a link to it down below. But I decided uh, since he had good luck with his that I'd give a couple of them a try and these are available at uh, co-op stores in the Maritimes. I'm sure they're available all over the country. In fact, the co company that makes these has an interactive map on their website and if you live in Canada you can check that map out. You can actually put in a postal code and it will show you uh, retail locations near you that sell these brew kits. So if you want to check out those uh, one of those locations you can go to this bottlebrew.com and check that out. But basically what these are is they're, they're basically a two liter plastic uh, pop bottle, a soda bottle, whatever you want to call it. And inside they have the uh, unfermented beer or the wort. And they also come with a pressure cap and a small vial of yeast. So we'll pull this down a little closer here. You can see that there's a separate cap that comes with the bottle and also comes with this, this uh, yeast capsule. So it's a pretty simple matter to make this stuff. You basically unscrew the top, pour the yeast in, and you set it in a warm place for uh, is it 10 to 14 days, I believe. And that allows the, uh, the beer to ferment. And unlike other methods of making beer, you do the whole thing in the bottle and it's all done under pressure. Most methods of making beer, the beer goes flat as it uh, ferments, the gas is allowed to come off it and then gas is later introduced to it by way of CO2 or for home brewing usually with uh, a little bit of sugar in the, the bottle that the beer is being stored in and uh, that carbonates the beer but this system skips that and it just does the whole thing in the, uh, the one container. So Anyway my buddy Bill, he tried the, the uh, red lager and I got one of those and I also got the uh, the brown ale so we, we stuck with a couple of the darker beers they have a couple of lighter ones they have a they have a blonde and they have uh, I have a couple other ones anyway go check out their website to see what what else they you offer. Know, I got to thinking about this and uh, my buddy Bill was entirely too nice he actually waited the entire time he started his video he waited the entire time for the beer to be done then he tried the beer, and then he posted the video all in one fell swoop. But uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be nastier than that. I'm going to actually just start the beer up here, and then I'm going to make another video uh, when the beer is ready and uh, and try it then. So, and of course, tradition on YouTube is any excuse to show off a newly purchased knife. So here's a knife I bought at the uh, the last gun show. There's a uh, there's a Mora knife. These are only inexpensive, very inexpensive. This is kind of a cool Mora though. It's actually of course, it's made in uh, made in Sweden, but it's actually the laminated steel mora. So I always wanted one of those, but I never really wanted to pay the ship. They're only a cheap knife. I never wanted to pay the shipping, so this was good. I could go right in and, and uh, pick it up and walk right out of it, out with it, with uh, after paying for it, of course. So anyway, we're gonna mix this thing up. We'll mix both of them up, and uh, probably should uh, read the instructions out to you here. I'll cut the plastic off both of these while we're at it. And the more it comes with a cheap uh, plastic sheet. So there you go, you've got knife content to go with your beer. Alright, we're going to uh, mix up these kits. It's pretty simple. They're both basically the same with the exception of one little detail. Both kits come with a small vial of yeast which you add into the beer. Uh, the beer wart and the brown ale comes with this little vial of uh, of hops. So we're going to take the top off the bottle here, the bottles, and a neat little vial, plastic snap top on it. Just add that in. And we'll add the uh, the hops 
extract. And put the top on. Oh, put the other top on. This is the shipping top that it comes with. And then you've got a special pressure cap. You can see that's got a different uh, little pressure relief type system in the center of it there to let any excess gas off. So screw that on firmly. And we'll do the other one. The other one, uh, the red logger, just has the vial of yeast. It doesn't have, uh, better take the top off that first, it doesn't have the, the hops additive. So this is uh, certainly about the simplest kind of home brewing you could do. I can't imagine them being able to come up with anything any straight more straightforward than this. Sort of the uh, as close to idiot proof as you can get. Get the other pressure top here, and we'll screw that on. And now all we have to do is uh, wait our required. 10 to 14 days and uh, when we do that we'll make another video and we'll show you uh, what the beer looks like and we'll try to describe what it tastes like. And I'm going to write the uh, the date on these. That's a good idea to have it here on the, the labels. We'll see you in the next video.